Right, I'm going to take this uh, circuit board out of here. First of all, I'm going to undo these connections. I can't pull these off for some reason. I don't want to damage the board, so I'll try and get them off when I pull it out. I've already took the knob off the front here. It was screwed on. And then you just got to undo this little bolt or nut and then undo these screws. So, hopefully it shouldn't be too hard. So there's the knob from the front. Just that red piece comes off. And you got a bolt underneath or a nut. There's a little nut, a washer, and what looks like an insulated piece. I'll undo these two screws as well. So there it is, just bent that capacitor, that worked good. That's one of them out. That's nearly touching there as well, that ain't good. So I've just got to pull these wires off this. I'll just see if they've got any locks on them first. I'll do it off camera because I don't want to break it. Okay, board's out, it's only a small board. So we've got a little potentiometer on it, a few capacitors, resistors, diodes. Just want to make sure nothing's touching. It doesn't damage out. A little transistor, it probably runs your motor. Obviously, the fuses and uh, so resistor, 5 watt resistor and some inductors as well so every part on that can be tested pretty easy some bad welding on the back, uh, bad soldering so really simple boards, these small boards so I'll have a little look through it before I put it back so just have a look at this board that I've uh, took out. Quite a simple little board, really. So, looks like this is your main side coming in. I don't know where that goes to. Seems to be taking its power from the secondary side here, this, so that's probably the transformer relay. So your pot usually connects to your base of your transistor, but I don't know for sure, I ain't checked the wiring out on it. But they're really easy to test, I'll just go through them individually, check the fuse, check the inductors, make sure they're still intact and con continuous. Check the continuity of the resistors. You can check the numbers and make sure they're still the right. Obviously that's a big resistor there. So just check the band, colour bands and then check the measurement against it. There's a small little transistor here, I don't know what that does but that could be linked to your potentiometer. There's then a diode there but you just do a diode test on them. Another diode here. 
They're really easy to test these boards up. Just go through each individual component, test the capacitors, test the diodes, the resistors, test the potentiometer for no dropouts and the signal all the way through. And resistors and diodes, one there, Zener diode there. Transistor just test between each leg. So not a lot to them boards. I'm gonna go through this properly now and just work out how the circuits work. Because normally that connects direct to, well the ones I've worked on before, that connects to the potentiometer, but it ain't on this one. Or well, at least I couldn't get a reading. So it could go through this little transistor there. That's an SCR and that's a transistor. So I'll do a bit more research on this but there's not a lot on there really to worry about. Relays go, capacitors sometimes go, that goes a lot. That's probably the main repair I've done on these and the potentiometers wear. So that's it.